milling edges, shoulders, and grooves may use a combination of end, peripheral, and or face milling operations. Creating edges or edging may involve the milling of one or two surfaces. Shoulders typically have two surfaces. And grooves usually have three surfaces. Grooves may be closed at one end or open at both ends. And they may be cut on internal and external flat surfaces as well as on round surfaces. Peripheral milling cutters have cutting edges on their periphery, which are parallel with the axis of rotation. Peripheral milling is useful for creating long open slots and forms. End milling cutters are round shank tools with cutting edges on their periphery and end. The axis of rotation is perpendicular to the surface produced by the end of the tool. Cutter size is defined by its diameter and cutting depth. Since end mills cut more with the teeth on their periphery than with the teeth at their end, they are susceptible to lateral forces. This makes them subject to deflection, which reduces the accuracy of the milling operation. Short, shallow slots are often created with end mills. Deep, narrow slots may be milled with an end mill, a thin slitting cutter, or a grooving cutter. Grooving or slotting cutters are generally more efficient than end mills for cutting long and deep slots because of their larger diameter and greater number of teeth. 